the last five minutes of my workout. So there's uh, something I want to talk about. Uh, that's um, the stock market, right? I realize that um, people are always concerned about what makes stocks, um, what affects the stock market, what makes it grow, and stuff like that. Um, what you have to realize is the stock market is connected to um, so many aspects of people. So lifestyles, people's lifestyles control the market. So it's not like the market and the stocks exist by themselves, right? So during the pandemic, nobody was going to the movie theaters. And after the pandemic, movie theaters opened. And so I bought the AMC stocks for $2.27. My only problem was I didn't buy enough. I bought it for $2.27, and now the stock is at $60 in just five months, right? A stock, I spent $88, and I got $3,000 back. I didn't do any work. So basically, a lot of the stuff has to do with um, the idea of looking at lifestyles. So people's lifestyles, in general, affect the marketplace. So when people are, like for instance, I bought some Trivago stocks. Trivago is a company that handles, that owns Kayak, Hobbits, Hotwire, um, you know, those travel companies, those booking agencies online. So when I bought them, obviously nobody was traveling because of the pandemic. Now the, the lift is, the, the ban is lifted on, 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 on the COVID-19 around the country. People are traveling now, those stocks are up. Yeah, so sometimes it's a fluke, but really, the key is to look at what people are doing. If everybody has a headache, obviously headache medicine stock is gonna go up, right? If everybody gets healthy, then, you know, healthy food stocks are gonna go up. So people determine the trend. The trend determines the stock. How pages on the those, right? I'm out.